What up, Dog First Nation? Alright, this is a well deserved update video. Um, right now I am just trying to relax. I've been doing a bit of work on this, and now I know the rough size of a Gaia memory. Because I have this. Seriously. <laughs> Blinking Cube Guy in Memory Papercraft. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> if you've ever played Sonic Colors and you've ever seen Common Rider Double, then you'll kind of see why this makes sense, because I'm just going to say it, because. The voice that says the names of the Wisps and the songs that come after them are just like Gaia memories. And plus, um, that final attack in Sonic Colors when he has all the Wisps, um, that's kind of like the Prison Bicker. <laughs> so, yeah. That. That. That's kind of, well, explainable. This is kind of right. Yes, I know, it's not a complete memory, but I only needed it for measurement reasons. The other pieces are in a small box. I only needed this piece. Personally, I might print off the whole shitload and just try and scale it. That way, I can actually have Papercraft memories. There's one thing that I've got to say. This goes out to all the people talking about these Sonic Colors Guy memories. Those who are making the custom stickers, the animations, and the so called shells, will one of you please? Put the fucking sounds on fucking chips and make the memories already. Because, literally, I'm sick and tired of seeing animations shown in it that are very good, by the way. They're very good animations. The soundboards are all finished. That's what I can see. But I'm really annoyed with people doing fake videos of guy memories. Seriously, it's been five years. Seriously, Guy Memories were announced in 2009. It's been five years since. Oh, to that point, five years. Now, here's the thing Sonic Colors. Has a very good basis for these. It's similar concept. Creatures of nature, guy memories are connected to the earth. Taking to that concept, some color guy memories. But everyone who talks about them doesn't do anything for it. They just talk about how cool it would be. The thing is, people have made the cases. They've got clear cases that match the colorations properly. I hate using that word so much correctly, I mean. And they've done the soundboards. But no one has actually put the sounds on chips yet. And yet, yeah, it's possible to do. Because seriously, there's one guy in China who put all the O's combos on one memory. There isn't a Gaia memory that has all the O's combos on it. There's a Dopant memory that has all the Dopants up to the certain point, but there is no Rider Gaia memory of all forms. Literally, there's the Gamba Ride memory, but come on, how many of us are ever going to be able to get one of those? Even if the rest of them are found. 
If you're wondering about the Ga Gamberai guy in memory, then just watch TJ Omega's review of it, because he explains that not all of them were redeemed. Some of them, or most of them, are still tucked away in Japan somewhere. Yeah. It would have been more logical if they just made it a one in Machine Gashapan memory. That would have made more sense. Or made it a contest memory. So that way having a low number would be justified. But having a 10,000 unit, only hundreds would have been left out. Maybe about one, three, five hundred may have been gotten out from ten. So, yeah. But, yeah. Basically, the thing is, the Gumberide memory is the only legitimate orange guy memory other than Cho Climax form. Yeah. Cho. Climax form is the one with the blue wings, as in Siege. Normal Climax form is just with the four Denkarmen. It has to have the fifth wing set to be the Cho one. So, yeah. That is the only other orange memory, but that one has glitter on it, so it replicates the Imagine, but it doesn't exactly make the Imagine memory special when a Rider memory has it, so kind of stupid. So um, I'd say get rid of the memories, glittery stuff, and just make a clean orange casing, or give it a red case like the Carbido memory. Would have made more sense. Sonic Color Guy memories are a brilliant idea. Literally, it brings two worlds together. People have tried to do it in the past with other toys of similar concepts. People did it with the Decade cards. Literally. There's a set of Decade cards called the Blank cards. I have the file for it. Basically, they release generic sounds in the Decade driver. Like when it says Attack Raido, Final Raido, Final Form Raido, Coming Raido. It basically just says that and nothing else. So basically, you could do the texture for the Gamma cards and then put any character you want. You could put Optimus Prime, you could put me. Yeah. Basically, that set of cards was perfect for custom cosplays with the Decker driver. If you didn't have a specific driver for a certain rider, you could use that. It's a supplementary belt. It substitutes all others, except for double O's, fours A. Was it a guy? I really don't like saying those two. Maybe I have no interest in them. Wizard Rings, um, not the best gimmick. Clever, but no, no, too hard to get. O's medals, they're starting to become interesting now, mainly because, seriously, how do you fucking beat putting the power coins in them? I can blame TG Omega for that. <clears throat> yeah, the Gaia memories, you can't find blank ones. You can sort of get blank chips. But they're not exactly affordable. Yeah, and you kind of have to assemble it yourself. So that means cannibalize a memory to make a memory. And the chips cost more than the memories. And because, well, in Japan, chips are a dime a dozen. Over here, or in the US, nah. Just nah. Uh uh. But, mm, 
one that ran over. But seriously, people, just make the freaking guy in memories already. Just put the sounds on chips and put them in the cases. Seriously. We're sick and tired of people waiting to do it. Just do it. The reason of this actual video for this. This I got from a pound shop. I spent eleven pounds on it. Its original price was eleven fifty. I was able to get fifty pence off of it. So yeah. Uh, but I will say this for a cheap toy. The plastic quality on this is on par with a Nerf gun and a little bit above. Literally. That's not thin plastic. That's fucking thick. That's thick plastic right there. And plus an extra feature. removable stock but seriously that bud what other toy gun company uses it nerf personally I do think this is a modified nerf gun design because trigger and handle yeah looks and feels like a nerf gun handle nerf gun it even has a tack rail on it. See? It even looks like it has a priming handle. Which, a few Nerf guns actually have that shaped primer handle. And a removable freaking stock. Kinda cool. But, yeah. A little bit short, but... Still rather comfortable. Yeah, no lights and sounds right now. There's no batteries in it, and I've removed the connection from the trigger. Yeah, I'm prying the shell open. No, there are no screws in it. There haven't been any screws since I got it. I removed all of those on day one. Literally. I removed all the screws on day freaking one. But, yeah, this is basically the inside. Pretty hectic. But, yeah. My basic plan is for a memory slot to be put here or flip out there it'll be easier to show you on this one now what I plan to do is put a memory slot roughly about here-ish so it's about there so I would be cutting out a slot on the back roughly about the size of a memory and then putting in a hinge and parts laying about my entire room <laughs> literally I, I got building material all over my room <laughs> Uh, if I need something to build with, I take out one of my broken toys. Just making it into something else. That's why I did my Ditrix. But I kind of had to destroy one of my liked toys to reincarnate it. Mainly because it had a busted axle. And plus, uh, it was kind of starting to crack, so I had to justify taking it apart, so brought it back to life as the Dietrichs. So, 
here. I do plan on putting a slot into this. So, yeah, basically, open a slide, bring me in, and close it. But I'm going to make the slot a double slot. So basically, you know how the metal shaft and the trivia gun work? Basically, it's going to be similar to that. I'm going to put a button in here. So when I hold it like a blade, I'll actually have a trigger to press with my fingers. So we have like that. So I'll have a trigger here. I'll have an off switch onto that. Then my fingers will be here, and they'll be able to catch onto a button, which will activate the top positioned memory form, which is metal. Then, switch to gun, it'll have it upside down. That way it catches the button to activate the click. And plus, it would be the first memory slot to have a sliding button catch. Then it goes on Gaia memories that are two little button notches on the little memory bit. That is where the maximum drive and engine are activated. Unlike on a dope part memory where it's just a single button, which still works. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. So, I'll leave it at that. Peace on the street.